This is a 1965 Ford Thunderbird, and I'm showing it to you because it is uh, more open to display than most of these cars that I've seen, because the convertible is shown in a half open, half closed position at the top, so you can see more of the mechanism of how it works, and it's beautifully restored. You can see under the hood here is uh, better than new, I would say. I, I don't think a car came down the assembly line that looked this uh, pretty. Notice the tag is uh, here for the air conditioning compressor. Everything is uh, perfect, really. And here you see the neat wheel covers. And you also see the combination red line and narrow white wall tires and there you see the top in the half up half down position we'll get to that in a bit there the deck lid is in the fully raised position you get to see the struts that actuate that there's a catalog and the repair manual. Of course, everything is perfect here in the uh, back. And you notice the top folds, top of that deck lid. And there are actuators for that. And the perfectly clean convertible top. Those of you who have a convertible realize how difficult it is to keep a top in that condition. And there you see some of the electronics that make this thing work. An impressive display there. And now you're going to see that back bench seat, which has always been a favorite of mine. It's a pull-down armrest, but the back... Uh, rest is as you see curved and here you see the rare situation of the uh, in the front uh, of the car the bucket seat has the headrest extended so it's extended out of its shell which is very unusual there you see the console and the swing away steering wheel the individual gambles for the instruments very aeronautical. That was the idea here. It's almost a cockpit styling. It was true of the hardtop too because that even had controls overhead like an airplane cockpit would. Now we're going around to the other side of the car. to get another view and we're going to check out the very back end of the car. Of course Ford had experience with these folding uh, back ends here because of their experience with the 57 through 59 Fords with the uh, retractable hardtops. So they had the engineering prowess to do it. And there are sequential taillights there in the back, too. And the Lincoln also used the retractable convertible top. So plenty of experience at Ford with putting tops back in the uh, in the luggage area, and there I am, <laughs> busy talking to a friend. So there we are. Beautiful car, beautiful condition.